Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our three-step rev limiter in our fuel tech manager software. So the three-step limiter is going to give us another way we can launch a turbocharged engine a little bit more aggressively to build boost off the line. So we have a really large turbo and we don't want to use nitrous to spool it. The three-step will come in very, very handy. So we'll have our two-step rev limiter that'll have our anti-lag effect and our uh, limiter that we want to hold ourselves off the line. But the three-step is going to allow us to have maybe a little bit higher limiter, 500, 1,000 RPMs higher, and have more time timing being pulled. As soon as we meet the threshold for a boost pressure, let's say we're trying to build 20 pounds, it'll get us up to 20 pounds of boost and then it'll drop back down to our two-step rev limiter right before we launch the car. It's going to allow us to again have a really fast way to generate boost. Now in addition to this, we can use and repurpose the three-step rev limiter as a rolling anti-lag if we configure it and set everything up correctly. So if you're going to be doing roll racing, want to have a momentary button on your steering wheel or somewhere in the cabin, you can push the button, you can hold yourself at a fixed vehicle speed, let's say it's 60 miles per hour to start the roll race, you can generate a ton of boost, let go of the button, and have a slingshot effect when you're racing someone. So it's going to be another awesome feature that the software is going to have. It's relatively simple to set up. So we're going to be taking a look at both in this video. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check it out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our three-step rev limiter feature in our Fuel Tech Manager software. We're going to find we can use this in conjunction with our two-step to have really aggressive anti-lag to get the boost to come up as quick as possible. In addition to this, if we don't want to utilize it for drag racing purposes, we can repurpose it for rolling anti-lag. We're going to be doing roll racing so that if we have a turbocharged engine that we want to build boost and be able to have a slingshot effect if we're going in, uh, going to uh, initiate or roll race. So we're going to start off and try to have the upper hand advantage. This is going to be absolutely needed in order to be able to have the most amount of acceleration rate as soon as you start the roll race. So let's jump in here and take a look at how we're going to be setting up for either situation. We're going to go here to quick access panel. We're going to scroll down here a little bit, move into our engine settings. Then we're going to go down here into map options. Under our drag race features here, we're going to go and turn on our three-step boost pull roll start. So it's going to appear in here as soon as we click this on. I don't have my real time enabled right now, so I'm going to go here to write ECU. It's going to allow it to write our changes. Let's give it a second. As soon as it's finished that write, we're going to find a populate here in our list so we can see three step boost bull roll start. So uh, clicking on it, this is going to be where we do our actual programming. And the programming is really, really basic and straightforward here. However, we need to go in and take a look at how our two steps going to work first and just review that because this is going to be working hand in hand with the two step rev limiter. So we're not going to use the three step in itself. We need to make sure that um, it's going to be set up here if we're going to be using it for launching purposes. Now, if we're going to use it for roll race purposes, we don't have to worry about our two-step rev limiter if you're not going to be launching the car. So we could just use this and repurpose. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.